know, had to organise fun runs and um, mm -hmm. jump rope. So we choose a charity to donate to, right. and a few times we donate to the Lost Dogs Home. So that was sort of another involvement, as well as um, being a, a donor myself. And then 14 years ago, I adopted my current dog, Ernie, as an eight-week-old pup from the Lost Dogs Home. And I wanted to do some volunteer work, so I um, inquired about doing some dog walking. I wanted it to be a hands-on rather than yes, yeah. um, an admin role. <laughs> so I inquired and there was dog walking. And that's really progressed over the two years because when I first started, it was just walking inside the home. Yes. Whereas it's evolved to being um, Thursday and Friday mornings walking out in the street. Right. And you can actually see the difference in the dogs when you take them mm -hmm. away and mm -hmm. down Mooney Ponds Creek. Sometimes there's up to five volunteers, so I've got a dog each. Yes. Um, we'll go out for half an hour, mm -hmm. come back, get a different dog and then take them out. But it's away from all the barking so you can see them actually relax and become a normal sort of dog yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other thing they started to are the basic manners classes which I've really enjoyed as well. It could be with dogs waiting for adoption but often it's with the dogs in behaviour modification so right. they're not able to be adopted because they're either too timid or um, too boisterous or oh. some issue. Yes. So we work with them with that with Nicole or Noah, the trainers and yeah and hopefully then the dogs improve enough to go into adoptions yeah. and get a home. I think most of my friends thought I wouldn't be able to cope um, with being able to come and then walk away without taking a dog home because that's is that's a hard it. part of it. Mm -hmm. But um, I see it as perhaps if I hadn't come, maybe that dog didn't wasn't walked for that day. Some dogs you work yes, with and you really become attached to, mm -hmm. but I sort of see it if, if they improve and get a home, that's fantastic. That's what we're trying to do. One of the dogs I worked with was a really shy dog. The first time I went into her cage, she cowed at the back, yes. barked at me. So I had to sit in the cage, turn my back to her, throw some treats to her. Gradually she crawled and grabbed those. Gradually she crawled and took one out of my hand. Finally got to be able to put a harness on her. But someone should take her out and she'd just freak out and wouldn't move. And then, um, then it got to the stage where as soon as I got there, she recognised me, she'd come straight to the door, we could put a harness on, we walk her in the street. Yeah. So, you know, you can see that progression yes, and that's yes. the really nice part of it. And that's one of the things that I really admire about the home is that all the dogs that I've worked with, their behaviours improved mm -hmm. over time, whereas you'd think dogs in here and being in the cage for most of the day, yes. their behaviour would deteriorate. Yes. That's what I would believe beforehand, whereas I found it to be the total opposite. I've enjoyed meeting all the staff and I suppose I thought beforehand, a lot of people have worked here for a lot, a lot of years yes. um, and I thought oh, perhaps you'd become a bit stale and a bit hardened but the staff are fantastic and they're so enthusiastic and it's all about the dogs and everybody still yep. you know, goes all funny when the puppy yeah, comes yeah. in and, but it's nice you know, to have that, to have that um, great attitude. Oh, it's yes. hard from just a really brief look to be able to see what goes on, but when you're here on a longer term, you can certainly see the care and um, dedication that the staff have.